hi friends welcome back to laravel tutorial in this video we will learn about laravel helper basically helpers in laravel are built-in utility functions and you can call these functions from anywhere in your application you can create your own helper function to create for your own use so let's see how you can create your custom helper so here you can see this is your project directory so inside the app folder just create another folder that is the new folder and create another folder the name will be the helpers so this is the helper folder and inside the helper just create another file that is my helper dot php okay so this is my custom helper so we'll create some functions and you will call from our controllers or anywhere from your application so use the php tag and create one function that is function and suppose my function name is get text so if we call the get text method from anywhere your application you will get this output so the output will be suppose i am writing the return and the text is learning points youtube channel okay so this may function so we need to register my helper into our application so to register we need to use the composer.json so click on composer.json so in the autoload section just create another that is i'm um, creating that is files and creating array and inside the array we just need to provide our helper path so my helper path is you can see so my app helpers and my helper dot php so just write it app helpers and my helper name is my helper dot php okay so our helper is registered in our composer.json so we need to auto load our composer so we need to use composer dump auto load just enter this and it will saying the generating optimized uh, auto load files sorry uh, i am using the get text function that is already a library function so we need to change my name of the function that is get my text so it is not a inbuilt function so this is my custom function actually in the helper function whatever we will create that should be unique for your project so if we use any our library function that will conflict with the project so just rerun this so here you can see the auto is successfully done and now let's use this helper inside your controller so create a controller file and we'll call helper function from there so create one controller to create controller we need to use php artisan mac controller suppose my controller name is helper test controller okay so controller created successfully so just go to the app http controllers and here you can see your helper test controller okay so now now create one function that is public function suppose my function name is check helper so this is my function from this controller so here i am calling the helper function so very simple just click on the get my text function and paste it here so if we run this we will get this so i am taking this in a variable that is value and i am returning this value so when you run this check helper function it will return this value
so now let's create a route and call the seg helper function so just go to the routes and inside the routes web.php so first register the our helper controller so copy the namespace so use so inside the routes use the namespace and after that the class name that is helper test controller okay and now i want to create route that is suppose i am creating a route and get suppose my url is test helper okay and after that we need to call a controller and colon colon class and finally i need to call the methods name so here my method name is check helper okay so now let's run the test helper url from browser so go to the browser and just enter the test helper and refresh so before that we need to run our server so to run server we need to use php artisan serve okay so server running and just refresh this page so here you can see the output is learning points youtube channel so let's get another helper function and we will pass value to that helper function so how can you call this so in the helper i am creating that is function make array okay and and i am accepting a value that is val and i will receive this val and will make it in array so here i am taking another variable that is my array and i will just get the string and i will make that string into the array so how you can do this so just use the explode so basically explode is used to convert one array to value and here i am and here i am passing the space so whenever we will get any space that will split into an array and after that i will return my array okay so let's call this my array from the helper test function so just call this my array and i am passing the value from here and here i am creating that is array value so i am storing the make array value into the array value and i am returning the output okay so using get my text we will get this result and i am passing this result into the make array function so if we call this make array function and pass this value so basically it will convert to the array so i am passing the string and it will make it to the array so let's refresh this page so if we refresh we can see it makes the array so in the zero index we have learning the one index we have points two for youtube and three for channel so basically it splits into array into the space so it is a zero position one position two position and three position so in this way we can create our own customized function and we can use the helper as per our own requirement so it's all about learnable helper please comment if you have any queries next video i will discuss about level middleware please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye